Hello, my name is Joe, and I'm going to show you how to convert a blueprint prefab into a static mesh. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what we're going to do is, I've got like loads of prefabs in this scene. Here's so something I'm currently working on, and we are going to basically turn one of these um, prefabs into a static mesh. So what we can do here is go to our prefabs. If you don't know how to create a prefab, but I've done a um, tutorial on that. Um, so please do check that out. So what we'll do here is I'll just use a simple one. Um, we will say grab this building here, drag it in. And what you can do is, you know, you, you uh, from what I understand, you don't need to position this um, on zero pivot and thing, uh, zero uh, location, things like that. And then what you do is you go right click and convert whatever your mesh's name is to static mesh. And this is going to ask you where do you want to put it. So I'll just put it up there for the minute and we'll just do that. So now what happens is we've got a static mesh here um, of our building. So with this one here that we dragged in, when we go to edit it, um, what will happen is we will go over here and you can see that when I click, we've got separate meshes. So obviously this is good for customization when you're building your scene up, things like that. You know, uh, if I've got this so that when I, if I just show you, go back here turn this around I've done it so that I can edit like the break work color obviously I've just given that an orange emissive color things like that so then what you can do is you can convert this into a um a static mesh with all that color applied and things like that this helps reduce things like draw calls helps performance things like that um so then what happens is if we go to our static mesh here we can drag that into the scene and you can see here it's now all one giant mesh now the only downside I've seen from uh this is that you can see here with the materials um we've got a concrete one here we've got two uh, sorry yeah concrete uh one here and here um we've got another one here and another one here so you can see here all the amount of textures in here are crazy then um, personally i prefer to use the merge option if i'm going to do that um as it because it tries to combine anything that's the same name together to create um you know so if it's detected concrete uh, concrete 3 here, it'll combine concrete 3 with concrete 3, so you're reducing your textures. But this is uh, useful for uh, certain things that, you know, uh, you can dictate whether that's, you know, your kind of thing. If, if you're just using, say, uh, something with no, no textures or something like that, you haven't textured, things like that, you can be, it can be very handy to combine them together. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully that's helped. Please do like and subscribe if it has. Great.